Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem in linked list. Problem is add two numbers represented by linked list. So uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, in that video uh, the problem we solved was to add one to a linked list. So if you haven't uh, watched that video, uh, I'll highly recommend that watch that video first, right? So that uh, if you know the logic for that question, then this uh, problem is very easy for you to do, right? So the link will be in the description. Just check out that video first. Um, so let's see what we need to do in this problem. Add two numbers represented by linked list, right? We'll be given two linked list uh, and the linked list represents a number. For example, uh, first linked list uh, is 45, right? The number is 45 and the second linked list is 345. We need to add these two linked list and then we, need sh we should return the output, right? The addition of these two linked list. So let's see how we can approach the problem. So in the previous video, in the previous question in which we have to add one to a linked list, uh, what we did, first of all, we reversed the linked list, right? We reversed the linked list. Uh, we know why we reversed it. So uh, if you want to know the logic, just watch that video first. We reversed the, uh, the linked list and after that, what we did was we iterated through the linked list and we added, we maintained carry variable and uh, at the end if carry was one right then we made a we ma made a new node and we attach it with the previous so we uh, have to maintain two pointer variables one will be previous and the other will be correct right so this was the approach for the previous question so this approach for this question will also be same just that we also have one other link list which we need to take care of right it's almost the same so see what we'll do is we need to add um, in in 345 we need to add 45 right so like what which link list will you choose right to ch uh, like maintain the value see if we take 345 and add 45 to it does this make sense or if you do 45 with 345 like this does this like answer will be same but wouldn't be easier if we have the larger linked list and we like we traverse through the larger linked list because at max we need to like go till the end of the number na? like till the end of the larger linked list so uh, at any point of time we need to go till the end of the linked list so what we'll do is we will work on the larger linked list we'll work on the larger linked list so the values will change in the larger linked list and at the end we will return the pointer that is the head of the larger link list right so this one thing we uh, observed from the question right so let's see let's see how we can get to the solution uh, if we have 345 and we add 45 to it right so it will be 5 uh, 10 1 will be carry right it will be 4 plus uh, 5 9 and then 3 will be as it is so it will be 390 so the output should be a linked list 390 and we will return the head in the output link, head of this linked list, right? So this is clear. Now uh, let's see how we will do the dry run, right? How we will dry run. Okay, so we have 345 and we have 45. So first of all, addition starts from here now. So it starts from the uh, rightmost uh, uh, digit. So what we'll do is, first of all, we will reverse these both linked lists. So why we are reversing? Just watch the previous video. You will understand why we need to reverse. So it will be 543. 345 reverse will be 543 and 45 will be 54. Right. This will be our... Uh, a reverse linked list now what we'll do is we will start adding so we will maintain two pointers right one will be current right one will be current which will be like uh, if this is f1 head of the reverse linked list uh, and this is s1 head of the reverse linked list which is the shorter one like s1 is the shorter one f1 will be the larger linked list current will be at f1 because we'll be changing the values in f1 right and uh, we will make a previous 
initially previous will be null and we will have s1 also right s1 f1 so now what we'll do is first of all <coughs> we will uh, calculate sum which will be f1 data which is 5 plus s1's data which is again 5 plus we will have a carry variable a carry variable which will be initially 0 so the carry will be 0 so what we did was f1's data plus s1's data plus carry this will be our sum right so this will be 10 right so we will not write 10 over here because if like what we do usually when we get a two digit number the zero will come here and one will go as a carry right so carry variable will now update it will become sum divided by 10 carry is sum divided by 10 and the remainder which will come over here will be sum modulus 10 right so sum divided by 10 sum is 10 so 10 by 10 will be 1 and 10 modulus 10 will be 0 so over here 0 will come and carry will become 1 right now what we'll do is after doing this <coughs> uh, this 0 basically it's updating on f1 like this 5 will become 0 right basically we are updating f1 values f1 will again then go to the next position and s1 will go to the next position right over here now again we will calculate the sum let's calculate sum will be f1's data which is 4 plus s1's data which is 4 plus carry which is 1 so it will become 9 right so let's calculate the carry and remainder now so 9 divided by 10 it will be 0 0.9 so it will be 0 that means carry becomes 0 now and remainder will be 9 modulus 10 which is 9 so remainder here 9 comes 9 which means like we are updating uh, this will like this remainder will go to f1's data right f1's data f1 data will equal to remainder so in place of 4 it will become 9 right <coughs> now f1 goes ahead and now see s1's next s1's next is null so we will like shift s1 to null now s1 becomes null so we cannot move any further now calculate sum now sum will be 3 f1's data plus now since s1 is null right s1 is null so we will by default take it as 0 when s1 is null because we know s1 is the shorter linked list so it will end before the first like before the larger linked list it will end so when s1's uh, s1 becomes null s1's data we will take as 0 right so it will we will take 0 here plus carry carry 0 so it will it becomes 3 so 3 and basically here over here it's 3 and our uh, f1 is also null so both f1 and s1 are null so we are done with the link list like we are done with the traversal so if you see in the f1 0 9 3 basically we uh, 0 9 3 we got and we will reverse it we will get 390 which is our answer so if you if you add 345 with 45 you get 390 which we got right so this is basically the approach uh, this is a diary let's let's discuss algo once after discussing algo i hope you will write the code by yourself it will be easy for you to write uh, and if you get any trouble then we'll be discussing the code don't worry so let's see the algo first of all what we are given is we are give we are given the head like head of the one uh, like one link list and head of the other link list right first of all what we need to do is we need to like we need to know that which link list is larger one right because we'll be making changes in the larger link list as we did over here right as we did over here because uh, if why are we changing in the largest largest larger link list because uh, we have to go to the end of the larger link list anyway right so we will be taking the larger link list right so what we did was initially first of all we reversed we reversed 
L1 also and we reversed L2 also. So I hope you know how to reverse a linked list. This will return one pointer. It will be the head of the reverse linked list. Let's take F1 and it will also return the head of the second linked list like the reverse linked list. It, let's take it as S1, right? Now, <coughs> after reversing, what we'll do is we will run a loop while, uh, but before that, uh, we'll take some variables. First of all, we'll take carry, initialize it to zero. Then we take previous pointer, initialize it with null, right? And then what we'll do is we will have a loop, while loop. Now, we, like what will be the condition? So just check this out. Even if in the even in the traversal, if S1 was null, our loop like our traversal was not terminated, right? It was only terminated when both F1 and S1 was null, right? So even if one of the pointer, even if one of the pointer is null, we will not stop the traversal because if it is null, we will take its value to be zero, as we did, right? S1 null, so we took S1 data to to be null, uh, to be zero. So the condition will be when both of the linked list like when both pointers are null, then only we'll stop the loop. So it will be if f1 is equal equal to null, right? Or s1 is equal equal to null. So this will return true only when uh, like our uh, this both will be true, right? Okay. Then what we'll do is after this, um, we will, uh, we will, uh, we will, uh, like see, uh, we will calculate sum. So sum will be F1's data plus S1's data plus carry, right? Then we will update carry. Carry will be sum divided by 10 and carry will be, uh, and sum um the remainder like f1's data will become sum divided sum modulus 10 right and then we will shift the pointers so how we'll shift the pointers we will shift like if previous is null uh, sorry if previous will become current uh, that means f1 and f1 will go f1's next and S1 will be also S1's next. Right. So this will be our while loop. And after while loop is done, if we have carry as 1, we will have to make a new node. Right. We will make a new node as value 1. And we will attach it with previous next. Previous next. As we did in the previous question. Right. So this is the algorithm. I hope you understood the logic, right? Uh, just try to just pause the video and try to code it by yourself once. And now let's discuss the code. We'll discuss the C++ code first. And the Java code is almost the same. So uh, we'll be discussing only C++ code in this video. Uh, but the, the Java code will be in the description. You can check that out. So first of all, uh, this is the function given to us add to list. First and second, these are the head uh, head pointers of both the linked list, which we need to add, right? These two. First of all, we are checking if length of first linked list is less than length of second linked list, then we will just swap these two pointers because we are just maintaining in the first, in this first, we are maintaining the larger linked list, right? So we are just swapping if the, if the first linked list is smaller, like has the length smaller than the second linked list. Then after that, we will reverse the first linked list. We store it in F and we take a F1 point, uh, pointer variable. Then uh, reverse the second linked list also. Took previous null and carry as zero. So right, these were the steps till here. Oh, till here. So first of all, we checked which one is the larger linked list. We updated F1 with that. F1 will contain the larger linked list. Uh, reversed both the linked list and carry and previous we took right now what we'll do is we will run the while loop so while f1 is not null and s1 is not null right <coughs> what we'll do is um, basically 
fd uh, uh, we have taken a variable fd and sd so basically right uh, what we can also do is because since we are taking or now over here and we know s1 is shorter so this uh, loop will like not terminate until s1 is like until f1 is not null because we know that s1 is shorter so it will become null first right so if f1 is null fd is zero if else otherwise fd value will contain f1's data and similarly with s1 and we calculate sum carry gets updated f1's data will be sum modulus 10 previous updated f1 updated f1 and s1 if it's not null we go ahead right so after this loop we uh, after this loop we will check if carry is one if the carry is one just uh, make a new node and attach it with the previous next so this will be our uh, like the last node and then we'll just reverse this f very uh, this f which we stored earlier right this is the head of the like this is basically f pointer will be the starting of this f uh, this over here this so f pointer will point to this first node of the reverse linked list the larger one so let's submit it so it's submitted i hope you understood the approach if you have any doubt in the code so there could be some optimi optimizations in the code and i want you to uh, get that because the, like if this is condition is necessary or if this condition is necessary to write right if we are if we are writing this does this thing does this write uh, like writing matter uh, or this matters so because i think f1 when f1 is null then we'll simply try or like go out of the loop right so i want you to just let's discuss in the comment section and if you have any doubt please discuss in the comment section i'll be happy to help and if you like the video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel hit the hit the bell icon and i'll See you in the next video.